I give you the example of class A. I'll give you now class B IP addressing example. Let's say for example, the address starting for, from 150, that is class B. Let's say 5, 40, 126. It's all right, but always check first octet. And same thing here. So those classes, we don't cover in this group, okay? Forget about them. <clears throat> when you check your computer and when you in command, uh, I mean, uh, in um, command prompt, when you run the command uh, CMD and IP config, your IP address always is associated with subnet mask. And IP address on each class has its own default subnet mask. In class A, default subnet mask is, is starting 255.0.0.0. .0 .0 and that zero. In class B, subnet mask 255.255.0.0. That zero, that zero. And in class C, we have subnet mask 255.255.255.0. And immediately I'll tell you, and those subnet masks are default subnet masks. And immediately I'll tell you that subnet mask tells us where we have network portion in our IP address and where we have host portion. And now is the question, how to find out where uh, where we have network portion, where we have host portion. And case and subnet mask tells you. So 255s indicate network portion of in your IP address. Okay, let's say here, I gave you this example, according to this rule. Of course, you tell me that first portion, first octet indicates network portion. And those remaining three octets are host parts. Clear? Yes. Clear. Same thing in class B. Those 255s indicate in your IP address and it shows you where you have network portion. This 150.5, those two octets are included in network portion. And these two portion, last two portion, portions are hosts, host part. And in class C, same thing. So again, subnet mask tells us where we have network portion and where we have host portion in our, our IP address. Sometimes, sometimes, especially in our organization, Turo University, we have a lot of locations. Let's say uh, King's Highway location, 1726, just to give you example. IP addresses in local air network are starting 10, look, 10, that 17, 
that 10 and something. Well, let's say 150, no problem. And subnet mask, 255, that 255, that 255, that zero. And now you suddenly asking me, hey, professor, please stop. You just explain that by default in class A, first rule, we have to check always first octet in our IP address. It is class a, but, and indeed, 10 is in this range from zero to 127. It is in class A, but at the same time, look here, in class A subnet mask by default should be 255.0.0.0. But here is different subnet mask. What's going on? What happened? So we broke the rule. It's why this situation we call classless IP addressing. We lost classification. Clear? Yes. And what I explained before the classless and when we have everything by default, we call those IP addressing class full IP addressing. But here we lost classification. Why this happened? Because of subnetting. Because we borrowed some host bits for network portion. We included, we took those bits from host portion, translated those zeros into binary ones. And we know that binary ones in subnet mask always are in network portion. Is it clear guys, what I just explained? Yes. What about you, Johanan, Sarah? Nathan, De La Fruz. Yes, Eddie. it's clear. Okay, great. Yes, very clear, thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, now, <clears throat> hmm. okay. We started talking about subnet. And now, before, um, before we talk about subnetting, let me explain you what's the difference between public IP addresses and private IP addresses. Each class has special range of IP address for uh, private IP address. And IP addresses starting from 10, let's say 10, 0, dot zero dot zero to 10 the 255 the 255 the 255 if ip address first talk that falls in this range that is class a private ip address clear Yes. Clear. If IP address, and we have private IP address range in class B, and that IP address starts 
172, oh, sorry, 172, that 31, that 255, that 255. If IP address falls in this range, that IP address is class B IP address, class B private IP address. And the IP address, which um, I mean, in class C, we have the IP address range 192, 168, the 168.0.0.0 and the IP address which falls in this range that is class C private IP address. And um, private ad addresses, not routable. We cannot surf in internet with a private IP address. Only public, and again, all those addresses out of this range are all of them are public IP addresses. The owner of public IP address is uh, we have a lot of internet service providers. Internet service providers are owner of the public IP addresses. When we as a customers call and asking to get internet service, actually they are providing us with public IP address. So in local area network everywhere, we, our computers, all our hosts, have um, private addresses. Once you decide to send packet to destination in a different geographical area, let's say from New York to uh, Israel or in Brazil, somewhere in Georgia, in my country, so you are sending your packet in networking field, in packet field, that you have destination IP address and source IP address. And source IP address is your IP address, which is always private IP address. But, but you have to, you have internet um, the service, but your packet is private with a private IP address, what's going on? What happens? I just told you that you cannot, your pack, you cannot soar in internet. You cannot send packet to destination if you, your packet, if your data has private IP address. And now is question, what's going on? How we can send the router? Router is configured with special protocol and we call that protocol network address translation or NAT or PAT, NAT, network address translation, which translates private address into assigned public IP address. Okay, and the router, what you have at home, it's pre-configured because to configure router, 
you need special skills, special knowledge. That's why we have millions of regular customers. They don't know how to configure those routers with a NAT protocol. That's why that's, but everything happens in a router. Router translates the packet, your packet from your private network and change private address to public IP address. Clear? Yes. 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 Nata, Sarah, Villa Fruit. Yes. Yes, very clear, very clear. Thank you. Okay, great.